So keep in mind that in this video we are discussing the health effects of low HGH as it relates to adults only. We specialize in providing hormone replacement therapy to adults who are experiencing deficiencies. We'll talk more about replacement therapy later. So, what's the connection between overall health and HGH for adults? HGH is a building hormone, meaning that it is crucial for the growth and maintenance of bones, tissue, and muscles. Without it, the body ceases to repair itself as it should, leading to a number of potentially devastating symptoms. The common signs of a growth hormone deficiency to look out for include low libido, reduced energy, weight gain, mood changes, depression, muscle and bone loss, and wrinkles. These are just a few of the signs of low HGH levels. And because symptoms of low HGH are often similar to other disorders, blood tests offer the only way to definitively prove an HGH deficiency in adults. If you are currently experiencing a dip in HGH levels and any of the accompanying symptoms that we described earlier, what is most important to remember is that fixing these issues is possible. Many patients often mistakenly associate the symptoms of low HGH with getting older. Simply put, the notion that getting older necessarily means losing hormonal function is nonsense with no scientific basis. If you look around at your peers, you'll likely notice that many of them exhibit none or few of the so-called signs of aging related to declining levels of important hormones like HGH. The reality is that losing hormones as we age is not written in stone and there are proven ways to restore your hormones to healthy levels as well as research-backed methods to prevent future issues related to failing HGH levels. The most reliable and accurate blood lab work for HGH deficiency is a test of insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1. IGF-1 production is closely linked to HGH production as the two hormones work together in the body. The liver produces IGF-1 in response to HGH circulated from the pituitary gland. So when IGF-1 levels are low, the likely culprit is low HGH. After your results come back in a few days, the next step is your diagnosis is a, a physical exam with one of our expert providers. He or she will conduct a thorough physical examination to determine if you are a good candidate for hormone replacement therapy. If indeed we believe that you have an HGH deficiency and that therapy can correct the issue, we will schedule your first session at your convenience to get started.